Good morning, welcome to Secret London with me, Mark Monroe. Just a short episode today. Today we are going to be concentrating on all things Roman. First of all, what did the Romans ever do for us, eh? Oh yeah, apart from education, sanitation, medicine, law and order, schools, plumbing, underfloor heating, roads, and after they had dragged us all into the world of modernity, they liked nothing more to relax in a warm Roman bath. And if you want to come and see London's only surviving Roman bath, you need to come here to Temple Station. Once you've come out of Temple Station, turn left and you're looking for a little alley on your right called Strand Lane. Now, it's not that easy to get access to Strand Lane. You have to go through King's College, go to reception, tell them you're here to see the Roman bath and they'll issue you with a visitor's sticker. Then they will guide you to Strand Lane and you'll be able to visit this Roman relic. So if you come to number five Strand Lane, which is right at the top, you're gonna see this window here on my left and a light switch, which unfortunately isn't working at the moment. But down there, through these rather dirty, unclean windows, is London's only surviving Roman bath. It dates back to 47 AD when the Romans entitled London Londinium and London was being ruled under the emperor Titus. Now, this Roman bath is managed by the National Trust and um, is looked after for the National Trust by Westminster Council, but they don't seem to have done a very good job of cleaning the windows so people can get a good clear look at the bath below me. There's also a light switch, but the bulb seems to have gone as well, so don't worry, I'll give them a ring and um, hopefully get that sorted out when you come and visit. But the story about this pool at the bottom of this room isn't really a story about a Roman bath. It's something completely different. You see, in reality, this isn't a Roman bath at all. It's actually a cistern that provided water for a grotto fountain that existed in Somerset House in the 1700s. After the fountain was shut down, the cistern went into decay and ruin. It was then opened in 1776 as a plunge pool for the public to bathe in. So why the Roman bath connection? Well, it's just thought that it was cleverly marketed that way in order to get bathers to come along and pay for entry. You see, it certainly looks like a Roman bath with those terracotta tiles on the outside. It became really popular and people really did think at times they were bathing in an actual Roman bath but unfortunately, it was nothing more than a cistern. So this plunge pool, this bath, has turned into no more than a folly, but you can come and visit it. You can make an appointment with Westminster Council and they'll take you here and show you around. Thanks for watching today's episode of Secret London with me, Mark Munro. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave any comments down below, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I read them all. And if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe? Until next time, stay tuned. Yeah.